going to show you guys how to actually play music through one of these Pizza or Piezo electric speakers. I can't remember exactly what name it is. But um, mine is located right here on the board. These are normally air command speakers. So if something goes wrong with, say, your RAM, they'll start beeping and then they'll give you a type of Morse code and letting you know that, okay, it could be your RAM that could be dying out or whatever, right? They're just air command things. When you first boot up your computer, um, it'll normally give you a beep. Not all computers have this option, but most of them. But anyways, let's get on to the music part. Before I get started on this tutorial, I'm just letting you know if you hear a humming in the background, it's because my side panel is open on my computer, so you're definitely going to be able to hear that. Um, I'm trying to block out as much noise as possible for now, so sorry for the inconvenience on that. Alright, in the bottom of the description, you're going to get two links. One will be for the sheet music, and the other one is going to be for this program right here. And um, I will put a couple of direct links so you don't have to follow all this stuff. All right? But if you want to, you can follow me right now. I'm going to click download on this site. I'm going to go to where it says grab the fixed version. This may change sometime in the future, right? So I'm going to click download from here. This is going to take a while, so I'm not going to bother with that because I actually already have it set up. So, you're going to need WinRAR. Uh, if you're using Windows, it really doesn't matter. It's, oh yeah, you definitely need it. You're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I will put that in the description for you. And uh, you're going to need to install it first. So, after when you install that, you're going to open up this since I have it on WinRAR. Um, and here's all the in, uh, all the files for the program itself. I'm just going to drag and drop those into this folder. Just waiting for it. Hmm, that's weird. Didn't all show up at once. All right, so I put them into this folder, and uh, what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to have to go to the style sheet location. And I'm gonna actually choose something, maybe um, Star Wars. As you can see, I've already been through here, so I've already searched for some songs. So I'm gonna click this one. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna open a new tab. Say I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna copy the name. And I'm going down to the MIDI location. I'm gonna click Save Link As. And I'm just gonna save it to my desktop right now. Star Wars, it will automatically put .midi to it. And since I have it, I'm going to stick it in my music stash right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open up the program and show you the next part. Okay, I ended up putting all my music inside of a music folder. The, I made my folder nice and clean as the size program music. I'm just like a tidy person. This is what I want to do. So I put uh, my my MID folders in here, right? And I put the program inside here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the program. It should pop up here. There it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click open. I'm going to open up one of those songs. So I'm going to click, I don't know, maybe Beetlejuice. Pause this right away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little S feature down here. And it apparently opened up on the other screen. So here it is. I don't want to play the actual song through my main speakers, so I'm going to cut that off. Play no sound. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go over to PC speakers tab and here I'm gonna click this use PC speaker and that's all you have to do so now the music will play through that so let's get to that next 